It would be a crazy, fun night. So without further ado, let's get into the bracket. Let's unveil the pairings for the 2018 Copa Combate. Here they are, starting with Group A, Pablo Villaseca, representing Chile, will face Daniel Requejo of Spain. Bottom half, Alejandro Flores of Mexico, will face John Bedoya of Colombia. Winners there, if they advance and are healthy, will meet in the semifinals. Let's go to Group B. Bruno Canetti, representing Argentina, will face Joey Ruquet of Puerto Rico. Bottom half of that, Andres Quintana of the United States, Marlon Gonzalez of Peru. So now the fighters know, you know, we know, everybody knows what the bracket will look like. And you have the two alternates as well. Let's get ready to, to, to get this started. All right, we've seen that. We've seen it for the first time. We've been waiting so long, I must add. Now we know. So what stood out when you saw the pairings and what's going to roll out? Well, my goodness. I mean, Andres Quintana being my number one pick. And we have Marlon Gonzalez, who is uh, El Patron's number one pick. So we might see the two number one seeds. I don't know, number one and two seed going to get at the first, the first yeah. round. That really excites me. Um, and just, just the, the country matchups. USA versus Peru. You know, that's huge. Argentina versus Puerto Rico. That's huge. Um, Chile versus Spain and Mexico versus Colombia. I mean, that's all exciting stuff. Yeah, man. I mean, I was kind of part of the brackets, so uh, I'm excited about all these fights. You did this. This I, is your handiwork. It, you know, it's, yeah, bravo, it's, it's, bravo. No, no, it's exciting. It's exciting, and you know, bravo to these guys because they're the ones that are come out and, and put on the show for everyone. And, and you know, everyone's gonna get a gift this holiday, and they're gonna get to see the best fighters in Latin America put on a show. I don't know what's gonna happen, to be honest with you. But like Gilbert said, the one that really stood out, you know, was Quintana versus uh, Gonzalez. You know, that's that's that, that's a fight that could be a, a, a main event. You know, that's a fight that a lot of people, when we threw these names in the bracket, was like, this could be the final. You know, but again, there's, there's all these other guys can take anyone out. Yeah. Uh, anyone. But it's, it's, it's the Marlon Gonzalez, this is what I've taken away from this program and so many other discussions that this is a guy that we're going to see a lot of us for the first time and let's soak it all in. It's hard. It's, it's, it's easy, I should say, to look ahead and see what the semifinals, but we can't do it because we just don't know. We just don't know. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen, and uh, that's the beauty of it. You never who's going to get injured, who's going to step up, who's going to do what. And you know, and um, I'm looking right here at Via Seca versus the Reque um, Requejo right here. We got a, a six foot, six foot one fighter against a, a, the smaller fighter from, from from Chile, and that's an interesting matchup to me to see how he's going to adapt a, a smaller, robust, strong in the pocket fighter against a long, lanky grappler. You know, who's going to be successful? We both know their game plans, but yeah. who's going to be successful and who's going to represent their country? And if, if Chile beats Spain, that's some huge bragging rights for the country. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Give yeah. Europeans to give them a little shot. You know, <laughs> something that's something that's set down with what we're talking about is Alejandro Flores versus uh, John the Ronin Bedoya. We saw Alejandro end his fight against Pablo Sabori for the qualifier in a triangle position. Yeah. Right? So, we, if he ends up in something like that with John Bedoya in the first round, Bedoya is known for finishing those. He has the body, he has the style, and that's that's what he loves to do. He likes to have guys wrestle him down, which is something that Flores likes to do. Flores likes to take you to the ground and ground and pound you. You know, he saw it, Sabori, we saw, you know, he hurt his ankle. But when he was taken down, he wasn't able to secure the lockdown correctly. So he wasn't able with those like minute and a half left. Live and learn. He wasn't yeah. able to finish the you know the submission. If Alejandro gets stuck like that with Bedoya, that could be a wrap, real yeah. quickly. You know, just because that's his style and he has the body for it. You know, so that's one of the things that for me is also like standing out. It's like you don't know. And then we got you know, hard hitters and Joy Ruquet, like how we said earlier. Ruquet likes to stand up and bang. And this guy in uh, you know Canetti is a power hitter. Right. You know, it's like two bangers. bangers. Two bangers are gonna go at it. You know, it's like that's that's. You did that's, your homework. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and will that training with Alpha Male, yeah. you know, um, be the difference for Canetti? Will the wrestling be the difference? Will the takedown be the tiebreaker for these guys? Or, or are we just gonna get what we usually get from La Jaula? And that's yeah. just two guys going at it and really fighting and, and proving who the best is out there. And, and one note here on the Spaniard, okay, well, he's he's not coming off the bench of just uh, you know sitting there and waiting for a call for someone to call him. This guy was training for a fight. Uh, basically to defend his title in Spain. You know, this guy's a title holder in Spain, one of the top leagues out there, and you know, his fight was canceled and he was able to come in. And so the guy's training. He's training. He's not just taking this fight, you know, on short notice. He's coming in ready, he's healthy, and you know, he was ready to go five fives. He's only going one five at the beginning against a very tough wow. Chilean. So And it's interesting because he'd be fighting to be Spain and all due respect to Spain, but now he's fighting 
one hundred thousand dollars. And I hear the exchange rate's great for Spain too. So good. <laughs> and he gets the Copa Combate. <laughs> so you never know. He could be going home a very happy man.